Hello, welcome to this set of tutorials on creating electronic music with Chuck. My name is Clint Hoagland, and I'll be taking you through a set of several tutorials that will help you get started with Chuck and hopefully give you some inspiration that will help you incorporate Chuck into your music. I'm intending these tutorials for anyone with an interest in the intersection of coding and electronic music. You might be a programmer that's interested in exploring electronic music, you might be a musician with no coding experience looking for a fun way to learn to code, or you could be an electronic musician that is just looking for a fun new tool for the toolkit and a way to experience live coding. These tutorials are supposed to make sense to anyone. I'm intending to make these tutorials in such a way that anyone can follow them. You do not have to be a programmer, nor do you have to be a musician to understand what I'm saying. My intention is to over-explain everything, because you are always welcome to skip over parts that you already understand. Okay, what is Chuck? Chuck is a programming language that is designed specifically for making music and controlling digital musical instruments. It's based on Java and C++, if that means anything to you, but it's easy to learn. It was developed at Stanford and is now an open source program maintained by Princeton. Why would you use Chuck? First, it's free and it's open source. It lets you work on your musical chops and your programming chops at the same time. It helps you think about what's happening in your music very close to the metal, so to speak. Chuck lets you create a workflow for music making that is completely customizable to what you want to do. Although there are a lot of things that it doesn't do and we'll talk about that too. Chuck makes it easy to do some things that are not that easy to do with conventional digital audio workstations. I'm going to get into those in some later tutorials, but I think you're going to find those interesting. Ultimately, I'm hoping that these tutorials help you learn how to use Chuck the way I use Chuck and help you see why I find Chuck interesting and exciting. And maybe you'll find it interesting and exciting too. The authors and maintainers of this technology also have a course online. That's where I first heard about Chuck and I recommend you check it out too. In order to complete these tutorials, you're going to need a Windows, Mac OS, or a Linux computer with a sound card. You're going to need to install Chuck, which I'll show you how to do in the next lesson. I'm also going to recommend that you install Audacity and VS Code, and I'll explain why in the next video. Okay, hopefully you're intrigued enough to get started. I'll see you next time.